Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you okay. I just opened the kitchen door and this was full of carrier bag up to here. The whole under my sink was the cupboard. The sink cupboard was full of bags. And uh, I just remember that uh, my baba, my father-in-law used to fold all the bags and put it like in little container. So I say, if I remember, I can try that and do it. So let's see. I'm following my Baba. We call him Khatak Baba. Khatak Baba tell, tell DIY. People, tell people who Khatak Baba is. Khatak Baba is not his grandfather. My father-in-law was. May Allah grant him a higher place in Jannah. A wonderful person. He he actually died in my hands. Uh, no, in my hands. In, uh, well, I actually left. Uh, and after 10 minutes he died uh, but basically in his last um, you know time I, me and Sami Siddiq and uh, Nafi father was with him he was an amazing amazing person may Allah bless him but he died on Laila and you know why he was so poorly so ill his operation done his leg was cut age of 82 and the bad thing was he was all alone in Pakistan that was the bad thing and he was gone to build up his madrasa and his uh, masjid and he got this infection and he died and you know uh, the thing was because um, actually now the father took him and he's supposed to come back after one month with him but he refused he said no I'm gonna finish my orphanage uh, so no orphanage my madrasa and my um, my mosque and then I'm gonna come back um, so and then when Nafi father left from Pakistan after two weeks he just get badly ill his uh, leg was gangry gang didn't yeah. it? Gang yeah so yeah he was a perfect guy age of 82 he used to do all his work like I used to tell him I said why are you wash your dishes when I uh, you know when when I give him food then he go and wash his dishes and I said why you do that Baba and he said no, you work so much and I feel sorry for you that I give you my work. So he was that kind of person. He lived all his life. He lived for Islam. He did, uh, like, he used to go for tabligh like for four months, three months, one year. And uh, mashallah, mashallah, he was an amazing person. Amazing person. So I learned a couple of things from him. Like, I learned, when I come first to this country, I even don't know how to cook egg. I basically learned from him and my mom. My mom was his auntie. <laughs> so it's a little bit confusing um, um, relation because my father-in-law was my cousin. Mm. And my mom was his best auntie and my mom was younger than him <laughs> by eight years. So, so um, Say by eight years again. Um, so he he was no just say by eight years by eight years. So I follow him and I hope I know Baba is in better place because in his he was like unconscious and I'm the witness that he was reciting Quran he was reciting you know like he was keep saying la ilaha illallah the subhanahu wa taala so he was an amazing person. Alhamdulillah, whenever I talk about him, I feel really sad. But let's see, for that, for his DIY, I remember him today. So he used to fold his bag like that. He fold the bag like that. He used to put it like this. Just ignore my one hand because I can't do things with two hands. So he basically, he do it like, like I, I run it like that. But I try my best. I can't be like him. It, there is no way that I, I reach his feet. But I try my best. So fold it three times. And then he will bring this part. I only watch him and he used to tell me. To put your bag he was a well-organized man 
a well organized man like if you go to his room his room was oh God. even his uh, watch body when he was remember when he um, uh, prepared his coffin and all that he, uh, yeah he prepared his coffin he prepared like you know when he died there is nothing unprepared he even write down on his coffin that remember me in your dua okay so show you again i I remember each of everything Baba say I remember so fold it like that then fold it third time then bring it right to the middle okay like right to the the part where this strip is okay sorry I can't do as good as Baba and might you people do it really good but instead of all this junk, <laughs> look, all this junk, it's better to... I used to go to Baba room and I say, I, I used to say to Baba, I say, Baba, oh, I'm sick and tired of these plastic bags. And one day he took me to his kitchen. Actually, he got his own kitchen as well because he was so independent. So he go in, he lived with me last um, years of his life. He lived with me. But he used to have kitchen just by his room. So fold it like that and let's see. And then bring that. How beautiful is that? So that used to be wow. his bags. That's amazing. And then, then he used to put it like that. Oh. So when I, when I go and I check his container, I feel ashamed. <laughs> I say, Baba, it was like hundreds of bags. And it was in that little container. Mm. I said, Baba, I throw these bags. And he said, no, you shouldn't waste these things. I say, it's like thousands in my, in my kitchen. And I just throw them because it's so many. And Baba said, no, you shouldn't throw them. You should pack them and give it to a charity shop. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Inshallah, I'm going to, because I got thousand and thousand bags, because of the lockdown, too much shopping, too much eating. Uh, I'm gonna keep all these back like that and drop it to the charity shop. So once again, I teach you again, instead of you rewind my video and check, I'm gonna keep two, three times. So I put my finger here with your both hand, make sure you tidy that. Now, did you learn? Yeah. You do it as well I've because your kitchen is well. your kitchen is full of mm. bags. I saw your kitchen three times. You know, like when you remember your your elders mm. did these things. You know, it's so blessing, isn't it? Yeah, they were very clever. You know. Sorry. They were very clever. <clears throat> he was very clever. Mm. Very very. Uh, I'm his cousin, isn't it? <laughs> he used to tell me. He used to complain about his uh, Nafi's fa Nafi father. Say Nafi father is not like me. He's he's um, he really didn't like his mother. Yeah, <laughs> he's messy. But you're like me. You're supposed to be my daughter. And I used to tell him, yes, I am your daughter. And I also I wanted to say something. You know that um, one of the um, girls that leave a long message was she upset about something? Uh, which long message? She usually writes long messages <coughs> or something. Of she? I think so. I don't no, know. No, no, she never. But she said, um, Nafia saying that I wrote a long message and. No, yeah, no, I'm that was another girl. Oh, that was right, another okay. girl. Another, I, uh, yeah, I just want to say, you know what? And I say, you say, oh, the girl who wrote a long message, yeah. and I say, no, that's not the one. Oh, all right. Like, so, uh, and honestly, I love it when they write long messages. We love it. We love. Uh, it's only I'm a little bit sensitive. Not yet. Them even don't care if somebody do a negative message. But I think I'm only, only sensitive when in the house. Like you know, in our house, nobody cares who's. If yeah, somebody, but if somebody they, says something to you, then yeah. Yeah, but I'm the sensitive one. I should change myself. Okay, these, these are the bad which cost about one or two or three pounds. Yeah. And you know what? Because it's too many bags I have, these are the proper bag for shopping as well. They're mm. so strong. And I used to be like, you know, if it's too many, I throw them. So I'm gonna follow Baba step. Mela give Baba the reward. So my Baba will have all the reward of that. Well, anyway, Baba's, I made um, 
Baba Awel, well, not me, uh, Siddiq Bell. Uh, mm -hmm. And inshallah, tomorrow is gonna be the Awel ready. No. So Baba will have so much reward, inshallah. Okay. Look, even this bag is so bulky, isn't it? Is it enough? Yeah? yeah. So bulky. But, you know, with one hand, astaghfirullah, no complaining. But with one hand, life is too difficult. Alhamdulillah, it's at least working by 30%. <laughs> by 30%. By 30%, yeah. You need to bring it like that, okay? And because it's too bulky, it's My fix really... Your scarf a little bit, maybe you can... So, you know, because it's bulky, you can't do it like other way. So that's why I show you this way, okay? So if it's bulky bag, do it only this way, okay? Mm -hmm. And another thing, if it's too bulky bag, Baba teach me that as well. Baba say, just bring it and do it like this. But it's only the bulky bags, okay? Okay? So I'm gonna put all the bulky bag on one side and all the small bag on one side. And then I'll ask someone when the lockdown finish to give it to the charity. Or if you have handle it, it So it's like this. For your two fingers. OCD So yeah, you happy? So so, my bag is ready. Hai. Uh, my bags are ready, guys. If you like it, please subscribe my channel, like, and comment. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.